Now, for those of you out there who believe digital audio formats are far superior to any other audio format, this video is going to leave you on the floor catatonic crying, and you're probably going to end up developing anxiety from it. Because from your point of view, what we're about to talk about is one of the most heathenistic audio formats man ever invented. Over the weekend, and yet again, old mate forgot to check his emails, I got an email from a viewer who's building up a retro hi-fi. It's old mate's Q&A and advice time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, if I was building up a retro hi-fi like this, what cassette deck would I add to it? Anything AV. Most things IT. Heaps of stuff about the 80 series Land Cruiser. Got questions, need answers and advice? This is Old Mate's Q&A and advice from Backyard Tech. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Old Mate's Q&A and advice time here at the Backyard Tech channel to kick off Thursday and Yes, I know, I forgot to check my emails from over the weekend to see if there are any Q&A and advice videos. But for those of you out there who refuse to accept analog audio, this video is going to drive you completely pear-shaped. You're going to end up catatonic on the floor and developing a serious case of anxiety because undoubtedly you guys are already a little concerned with the resurgence of record players and in some cases cassette decks being made again. So they're all anxious and crying and catatonic on the floor and probably running a million miles from their computers. So those of you who are interested in this video, you guys are probably still watching. Okay. Yes, old mate did forget to check his emails for any Q&A and advice videos, but uh, I got an email from a viewer by the name of INA. Well, it's either INA or INA, I'm sorry uh, if I've mispronounced your name, but my viewers and subscribers know that old mate can't pronounce anything properly. Actually, old mate can't talk half the time, let alone speak the English language. Anyway, all right. Hi, Backyard. I've contacted you privately because I want some advice. It's nice to find a channel like yours where there is no BS and it's uh, just blunt. Well, that's the whole idea of the channel. Anyhow, I'm in the midst of building a retro hi-fi. This is what I have at the moment, a H&K amp. I presume Harmon and Carden. Luxman CD player. It's nice. Luxman tuner. Yeah, that's some high end stuff. Dual turntable. Ooh, 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 ooh. I know what dual turntables are like, by the way. And a set of BW speakers. Oh, Bowers and Wilkins, I presume. Yeah, Bowers and Wilkins. Speakers. My question. If you were building this type of hi-fi, what retro cassette deck would you add to it? Wow. Um, that's some pretty high-end... <coughs> pretty high-end stuff there. Harmon and Carden and Luxman. Bowers and Wilkins speakers and a dual turntable. Having had a dual turntable, I know how good they are. My dual 1019 was one of the best turntables. Actually, I think it's actually better than my Pioneer turntable I've got now. Harmon and Carden amp. Bowers and Wilkins speakers, Luxman CD player and a Luxman tuner. Um, obviously, th th this person, I don't know whether they're male or female, um, what cassette deck would I add to it? It's a bloody good question, actually, when you think about it. Um, well, I, well, let's start out with the obvious. You're not going to go and put a cheap, crappy Akai or cheap, crappy Sharp deck on it. That that's just destroys it. Harmon and Card and Luxman, Bowers and Wilkins, you're talking about some high-end stuff, especially through the late 70s and 80s. Um, well, if money's no object, you could look at a Nagamichi Dragon or um, 
Revox, um, High End Pioneer, High End Denon, High End Onkyo, uh, high, um, Technics, um, NAD, High End Sony, um, Really, really good quote. Uh, Harmon and Carden cassette decks at the, at, through the 80s were phenomenal. Um, I, really, I really don't know. That that That's a good one. Look, I'll put it to you this way, Ina or Ina. Again, I apologize. I'm useless with names, let alone the English language. <laughs> um alone actually talking if money's no object for you which it appears as though with that sort of setup it's likely you've paid a fair bit nagamichi revox denon onkyo high luxman even a harman and carden system high-end pioneer um or high-end technics I mean, that's some, my phone's vibrating. Hang on, sorry about that. It was actually the guy I'm gonna have a look at his 80 series later on. Um, that's a really good question. I mean, I wonder if they've included anything, any detail, no. What cassette deck? Well, again, it's also gonna depend on whether you want auto reverse or not. Um, and whether you want a double cassette deck or not. Um, I, I've got to be honest, I don't know. Look, just some of, some of that stuff doesn't sound cheap. I mean, H&K through the late 70s, right through to the, I guess, late 80s, their amps weren't cheap. And neither were anything of Harmon and Carden. Um, the same could be said for Bang & Olsen, the same can be said for a any of them, really. Um, I honestly don't know. I, I Look, you're obviously going to want a cassette deck that is capable of producing really, really nice audio on either chrome or metal cassette. Considering you've got B&W speakers, um... Well, we all know Nagamichi. Uh, if you don't know what a Nagamichi cassette deck sounds like, you need to go find one. Same with Revox. Um, for those that aren't aware, Revox had both pro and domestic stuff and their cassette decks, some of them used exactly the same um cassette audio transport system and head system as their professional quality cassette decks. And that's in the domestic market. So I would look at Nagamichi, I would look at Revox, I would look at high-end Onkyo, high-end Denon, high-end Technics, um, even a Bang & Olsen if you can find one, although that's really going to burst the bank along with Nagamichi. Um, Possibly if you can find one, and I cannot remember the model number because I have not seen one in a long time, but there is a Luxman deck out there which was absolutely phenomenal. I just don't remember it. Um, so that that's sort of what I'd look at, and that's based on what you're running now. Um, if you want a bit more clarity in this answer, if you can, INA or INA or INA, INA or whatever, if you can email me your model number of your amp and the model number of your speakers and or a, a price range. But I would be looking at something to match what you've got now. So you want to match the amp, match your speakers. All right. Um, I mean, there's some, there's some big, big, big name brands in there. I mean, Struth, H&K, BMW, Dual, Laxman, it's, I mean, 
what you're going to throw in there would be something like, like I said, Nagamichi, Revox, uh, high-end Onkyo, high-end Denon, high-end Technics, really high-end Pioneer if you want to go the whole hog. I certainly wouldn't be throwing in, you know, a cheap, crappy cassette deck. You know, and I'm, I'm talking about your real, you know, low-end, you know, Sanyo or even a national cassette deck or a really bottom end of Akai because that's just going to drag your system down. So if you can email me your amp and that, I might be able to give you a better idea and and that, but I'd say this person's got no problem with money because by the sound of it, that that's Bickies. Like Harmon and Carden, Bowers and Wilkins. Can't get better than that. Can you imagine an old mate with a set of Bowers and Wilkins speakers or a set of um, Wharfies? You know, they're, they're some serious brands. I mean, Bowers and Wilkins are now... Bowers and Wilkins, Harmon and Carden are making speakers for the European car market. Car radio speakers, Volvo, Audi, Beamer, Benz. You know, they're using stuff out of H&K. They're using stuff out of... Bowers and Wilkins, they're using, you know, Wharfed up. Really good quality stuff. I think Mark Levinson Audio uses, well, they used to use JBL. I'm not sure who, who they use now, but I, I think it's either Wharfed, uh, Bowers and Wilkins or something. Volvo's got a H&K sound system in it, I think. You know, Harmon and Cardin are in car audio. So is Bose. Um, so, Ina or Inner, I'm sorry, if you can email me that, I can probably give you a better idea. But yeah, I'd be looking, like I said, Revox, Nagamichi, High End Pioneer, Denon, Onkyo, Harmon and Carden Cassette Deck if you want one, High Pioneer. Um, you're going to want something to match your retro hi-fi. So your cassette deck, I would suggest, needs to match the amp and speakers so that you get that crystal clear sound. Now, for the digital audio people out there, you guys are saying, oh, cassette, no, 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 you're crying. You have no respect for the retro stuff, which is fairly evident. Um, you've probably never, ever witnessed the sound of a Nagamichi cassette deck or a Revox cassette deck or anything like that, which I have. Jeez, I tell you what, you record something onto one of those decks and it replays it just as good as it recorded it especially if you've got like a HX Pro system on your cassette deck. So there we go. That's the best I can give you, Ina or Inner or whatever your name is. But if you want more detail or a better idea, can you email me the spec of your amp and the model of your speakers and then I can sort of work out which cassette deck and how much you want to spend if necessary. There we go. Anyway... Stick around. Hopefully, I'll get another. Uh, I'll get an eighty series video out today. If not, uh, I'll catch you tonight for the convo. Have a good one. Cheers. This has been another presentation from Backyard Tech. <laughs>